Former Premier John Horgan announced he would be leaving his seat in the spring. I will be leaving my seat. Horgan was hugely popular in his riding and took 67 percent of the vote in the last election. Langford Juan de Fuca is a fast-growing area on southern Vancouver Island. It's attracting young families with better affordability, but traffic congestion is an issue. Corrigan is endorsing Sook School Board Chair Ravi Parmar, running for the BC NDP, and he's hoping to win the seat. Delivering on health care, on transportation infrastructure, and the cost of living issues impacting families in Langford Juan de Fuca. The B.C. Greens came in second last election in this riding and in Vancouver Mount Pleasant where another by-election is taking place on the same day. Political scientist Hamish Telford questions if there will be some changes this time around. Is this an opportunity for voters to express displeasure with the government on certain issues that are in the Green Party bailiwick? Green candidate Camille Curry founded BC Healthcare Matters and organized rallies to push for more family doctors. What I have been hearing at the door when I'm chatting with people is that healthcare is definitely one of their top concerns right now. Elena Lawson. BC United, formerly the BC Liberals, will be testing its new name with candidate and autism funding advocate Elena Lawson. The big one right now is crime. Uh, for a lot of people. I'm BC United that. leader Kevin Falcon highlighted concerns over public drug use in parks in the riding after decriminalization. Political watchers will also be examining results to see if the BC Conservatives gain traction. Longtime real estate agent Mike Harris is their candidate. With one BC Conservative MLA John Rustad in the legislature, the party is trying to get more support. So what's the dynamic between those two centre-right parties uh, in these by-elections and does that tell us anything about the party system generally in the province? Voting takes place Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.